So what's up, so today we're back for the last episode of my ONES tutorial and today will be a sort of conclusion video. So during this episode uh, I'm gonna go through a match I did in one world like 15 minutes before and I'm gonna try to like give you as many details as possible on this match. So like how to handle 50-50 after better decision making etc. Um, firstly I want to apologize a bit because I'm a bit sick so if sometimes I sneeze a bit or something like that, uh, I'm sorry for that. And second, before starting this video, I really want to thank everyone who gave me feedback and everything else uh, during my last video because, like, if you're happy, it makes me happy, so uh, it's cool, everyone's happy. <laughs> and the two last thing I want to say is I'm gonna make a poll on uh, Twitter to uh, see what you, what you guys want to uh, let me upload uh, for my next video. And I'm gonna probably uh, also have a video editor, so the next video will have a better quality, it will have like some cut, etc. So hopefully it will please you. And now we can go into this tutorial. So replay this one. So I did this match like just 15 minutes before because I didn't really wanted you like to see a match I did like three months ago again. So I think it's better to have a, a fresh match. So first kickoff. I win it pretty much, and now my opponent is getting close to me. So now he's getting close to me, I know he's low boost because we just did the kickoff and I win it. So I know he's gonna probably fake challenge and take the big boost. So I'm just gonna jump one time, pop the ball, and set up myself a good opportunity to score. There, I'm just gonna try to uh, judge my opponent to see if he can save those type of shit. He can, so I'm gonna try to be more creative later. So here what I want to do, I turn the wall. I want to uh, pressure him because I'm in a better position than him and just control the ball. But here, as you can see, he's getting really close to me, so now I have to adapt to the situation. I'm gonna try to shoot it in simply and it will be a goal. So when you are in his position like this, like this, you make a save, you have like 50 boost. Here you have to fake change, you cannot just go under me and wait for me to do something. Like just fake challenge and go into your goal. You can do that, especially at high level. On our second kickoff, I lose it, but it's not really like bad because he can't really do anything really good. I take a pad, I uh, shadow defend, and now I have boost in position. So here is something really important in one view. Here I'm gonna put the ball on my car. And then I have to think in my mind, okay, what are my possibility and what are the possibility of my opponent? So first, he have like most likely two possibility. First, he's gonna fake challenge. Ah, oh, three possibility. First, he's gonna fake challenge. Second, he's gonna uh, make an aggressive challenge. And third, he's gonna uh, wait for me to do something. So, if like in my mind, I'm saying, okay, if he. Uh, I'll challenge me, then I'm gonna just try to force a 50-50. If he's gonna fake challenge, I can't really know it, so I'm just gonna guess it's gonna be a hard challenge, because I want to play safe. So I'm gonna put the ball under and try to force a 50-50. And if he waits for me to do anything, then I'm gonna just try to flick it really good on the side, because I'm full bust. Here I'm going into the offense, I'm gonna put like 25%. I see him fake challenging me. So I just put the ball under and try to force a 50-50. I jump one time and now I, I know he like outsmart me. So now I have to think the same. Okay, what are his possibilities and what are my possibilities? So my possibilities are multiple. Like I can just leave the ball, I can like wave dash onto the ball and put it in uh, uh, somewhere he can't really do anything with it and try to shadow defend after. But like I said, okay, I'm gonna try to be a bit more like out of the box and I'm gonna try to like wave dash and demo him. So by doing that, like, if he try to dodge me, then uh, he's gonna uh, not be able to take the back boost. If he doesn't try to dodge me, then I'm gonna just demo him and gonna have a free goal. And like, yeah, that's the only possibility. So I did that, like it was really good because I was, I was right behind the ball, so he couldn't even see me really doing anything and I think he really didn't expect that. So sometimes you have to just like try to think a bit out of the box and try to think, okay, I think this can work. Like you put yourself like two, three seconds after your play and think, okay, if this works, what can I take from this play? Like 
okay, demo the him, but can I score? Can it be like useful for me or anything? And like this is what I did. I think okay, if I demo him, I think I pretty much can score a goal if I don't mess up. So this is what I did, and it worked out. So it's really important. You really have to do that on most likely like every situation. Every time something, some uh, whoops, sorry, someone is touching the ball, you have to do that. Like think what are his possibility, what are your possibility, and just try to adapt yourself to the situation. So here. As a kickoff, I lose it again. He takes the boost, fake challenging, taking back boost, and now it's 50 50 time. So there's multiple types of 50 50, there's like three. So, like, there's a 50 50 where both are going uh, for a side flip. So, when you're going for a side flip, uh, like, the ball will probably stay in the like between you and the opponent. So, like, yeah. If, if you want to play safe, just do a side flip like this. Like most of the time, you would just like put the ball between you and your opponent. Um, if you really want to win it, then it's a bit like a kickoff. Like you really have to see it like a kickoff. So uh, the only uh, different thing between a 50-50 and a kickoff is like kickoff your boss exactly at the same distance. Where a 50-50, well, I, I have trouble seeing that. Sorry, 50-50, <laughs> uh, you're not like uh, at the equal distance. So sometimes someone will have a bit more speed, someone will have a bit more like the better position, or will have the edge because he can decide uh, on which side he wants to put it, etc. So here we are both pretty much. Uh, like, the ball is stuck to him, so I know he cannot do really anything, and I want to play safe, so I'm just gonna side flip. As you can see, the ball is just rolling between us, and now, like, nobody can really do anything from that. So here he makes a pretty bad play, because, like, he just go backward on it, which let me uh, change him. I put the ball where he cannot really do anything, the ball is bouncing on the wall, he's on the left, so now he can do two things, but I'm pretty m sure he's low boost, and uh, as we can see here, yeah, as you can see, you have 16, and he can't really do anything. And here, if he decides to change it, then okay, he changes it, but he's just gonna give me the ball because he's low boost after, so uh, he cannot get really anything from that. <coughs> and now I have a lot of space because here, I know that if he will fake challenge, he will have to take the back boost because he's low boost. So here I have a lot of space. And I'm just gonna do something I'm really good at. So if you have a lot of space, just try to score the goal where you're the best at. Because you know there's no opponent to deny what you want to do. So just do the thing you're the best at. For my part, it's like popping the ball one time and uh, dash it where he cannot save it. Then another kickoff. This time he wins it again. So it's like three kickoff for him, one for me. But as you can see, I'm three zero up. So like. If you lose the kickoff, if you play smart after, it's fine. Like, I don't lose it too badly, so... Here, I turn my brain off for like half a second, I don't know why. I tried to fake challenge, and I just didn't stop myself. It's like, I don't know why. But he didn't expect that, so... Like, <coughs> I'm not gonna complain about that, it's a bad play for me, but... I mean, he didn't play really good too, because if he would have... See that really fast and flick it, then... Like, he would have scored it. Here, I'm gonna put it at 10%. So here, in my mind, like I said before, uh, replay is so bad. <laughs> here, in my mind, the ball is the ball is bouncing on the wall, and <coughs> I think he's gonna take the mid boost and wait for me to do something. So in my mind, I was okay. I'm gonna control the ball, wait for him to challenge me, and just like flick it really high so I can take some pads and boost because I'm really low boost. Um, but here, he decided to like wait under the ball and try to. 50-50. So here he's uh, setting up, setting him up, <laughs> sorry, for a side flip 50-50, uh, but as you can see, uh, his car is, like, half his car is on the right side of the ball and half his car is uh, nowhere. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give a lot of power uh, on the 50-50 on the left side because uh, there's no, uh, there's no, like, part of his car on the left side, and I'm just gonna win it. Like, so sometimes you just have to see like the weakness point which is a lot of time like I said in the defense video uh, behind his car and this time it was like right behind his car. So right now I took the boost. I don't know why I tried to score it here but like it's pretty bad play for me. 
Now he can't really do anything. I take his boost so he can't really do anything and then I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna shadow defend. Here he makes a pretty hard flick but it's out of the goal so I don't really care. I'm taking the boost and now I'm just gonna make an aggressive change. So what I did here is the same. So here I'm gonna put it at 10%. I'm taking this boost. What can he do here? So he's going on the ball. He can control it uh, like really close to him. He can make like a, a, like a small touch and then like try to air the ball or flick it. He can like shoot it or he can like make a pretty like hard touch and then follow it. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna wait his first touch and like in my mind I want to make an aggressive challenge because like I know he's going a bit fast on the ball and for like half a second he will not be able to catch the ball. So as you can see right this moment he touched the ball I'm jumping so I'm putting pressure on him. I see him putting his car a bit on the left of the ball. I'm in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just like flip on the right side because it's where his car is not and I'm gonna win the challenge. So this is uh, also a part of a 50. Just try to dash where your opponent like is not. It's, it's pretty like logic by saying it like this, but I, I can assure you that most of the people doesn't really care about that. And once they are playing a 50, they just panic and just like dash on it for no reason and with like no hopes of doing anything. Hey, he's making a pretty good touch. I have to go back. Here I cannot really change it because he's be right behind the ball. And here I make a mistake by giving him the ball again. So here I try to change him, but he makes a really good touch uh, who puts the ball ahead of me. And now here <coughs> I cannot really do anything except trying to bump him because like I, I can't put the ball anywhere, it's not in. But if I try to touch the ball, he will touch it before me. So here I, the only way for me to not get hold on is trying to bump or demo him, which I did. So this is a pretty good play from me. Taking the beat boost. Here I try to be really aggressive because I just wanted to like put the ball really high but I missed it. And here he makes a really like fine play by touching it but now he's waiting for the ball. I see him and I score it. So as you can see on his point of view here. So he puts the ball here so it's fine. He takes this pad. He's 20 so it's not that much but it's not too bad. And here he wants to score it because he's 3-0 uh, down and he really wants a goal. But I know he really wants a goal. So I know that, like on my side, you can see it. Just before, sorry for that again. Here, he touched the ball. Here, as you can see, I see him waiting for the ball. So I'm, I know, like, he's gonna maybe try to score it because he's three down, uh, he's three down, he's, oops, sorry, three goals down. So I'm just gonna, like, play safe and put the ball, like, anywhere he can't really do that. and. I'm gonna score it. So, on his point of view, you really have to fake challenge, but he really wants to score, so he makes an aggressive play and it doesn't work out. So, fifth kickoff, and he still wants it, but like I said, no panic. I take the boost, going uh, front post because like I don't want him to score on the front post. I double jump. Yeah, I'm not going on the ball. I'm just taking what pass again, and like I said in the defense video. Uh, with one pad you can make probably every type of save, so you just need one pad to save anything. And here I mix up my defense and make uh, an aggressive challenge. So what I did here is I take this boost, I take this boost, then I'm faking like I'm gonna uh, go into my goal and wait for him. So in his mind he's probably like, okay, I'm gonna wait for him to go into the front post and then I'm gonna flick it. But here. I play like this and then I backflip. So here he's like, oh, what? He's changing me. And then, like, I score it. So, like I said, sometimes you can just mix up and do something you do not expect and you will have, a, like, an easy goal. So here there's nothing really important because, like, I'm starting to make some mistake because I'm 5 0 up, so I'm trying to play really aggressive. I'm not gonna do anything really special. I'm putting the ball. So here is something a bit interesting too, as you can see, like I'm trying to dodge the demo, touching one time the ball, so here he can do two things. He can uh, like touch the ball and uh, change it so I cannot shoot it, or he can take my boost. But if he takes my boost, uh, 
the, the left boost, uh, like I will be able to shoot it, and I'm gonna try to like next like grab the, the big boost uh, you can see uh, on the back of the field. So here he makes a challenge. I'm taking the back boost. I see him trying to control it, but he missed it, so I just jump one time. And here, if I am a good shooter, I can score it, but I mean, it's not really important since I can take his back boost again. And here, I make a pretty bad mistake because, uh, like, I'm just trying to be really aggressive because I'm 5 0 up. He missed an open goal. I put the ball um, on the other side of the field because I know he's not here, so I can grab this back boost too. Here, I'm controlling it. I'm gonna try to mix up and fix it, but he makes a good save. I have a pretty good recover, take this back boost. I'm shadow defending and he didn't care about my fake challenge. So like I said, sometimes shadow defending can be a bit risky too. Like not risky but like if your opponent uh, doesn't care about your fake challenge, so like I fake challenge one time, two time and he didn't kill. So it's risky from him because if I challenge I would have put the ball on his side and he would have probably get scored on, but he, I mean, he's like 5-0 down, so he have to gamble on like most of his shot now. Here I lose the kickoff, and this is another thing uh, really interesting, so you probably didn't see it. Here, there's two pads behind me, and like, he have the ball position. So here, if I decide to go back and like dash right now, I will have this boost, uh, like, I will have this boost faster than if I was going on, on the boost without dashing, but I will not have a lot of power of with my dash. And like the boost I will uh, get from this pad, I will not be able to use it really fast. Where if I wait for, uh, for taking this boost and then dash, I will use all this boost to make a really powerful dash and I will go back faster than if I just flipped normally on this pad and then flip. So here I, f I go back really fast and he cannot really shoot in, like if he was shooting it in I would have been able to save it <coughs> and uh, it would have been all good for me. Here I make a bad play because I tried to pop the ball really high but I missed my flick. So this is just a bad play for me. Now it's like 5-2 so I'm gonna try to like play smarter because like I don't want to get comeback. And I'm gonna win a kickoff for like the eight, like I think it's the kickoff number eight, and I finally won it. <laughs> so here, I, I, as you can see, up, I win the kickoff. I have boost in position. Here I see him going on the right because I hear him. I try to put the ball on the right, but I missed it. But it's fine. I mean, he's low boost. I know he's low boost, so I'm just gonna let him play because like. He can't really do anything, he cannot score, he can't do things. Uh, he can make a bad touch, but I mean, like he's just trying to put pressure, and I'm just letting him play on my side with zero boost while I'm 100% of boost. So, like, this is something you can do. If your opponent is, uh, like, losing and is really trying to force a goal, just let him play, like, make him think he have like, the momentum or anything, and just wait for the right moment to control the ball and score it, or, like, just shoot. So here is exactly the same thing. I win the kickoff. So after this kickoff, you can do two things. If you're confident on your shooting because you're low boost, then you can go for a shoot. Uh, if you're not confident on your shooting, then you can wait. And if he changes it, then he's just gonna give you the ball. And if he doesn't change it, then you're gonna have like a pretty good shooting opportunity on the ground after. Here I'm confident in my shooting, so I make a really good shot, but he makes a really good save. I know I'm faster than him. So I'm going to put the ball on the wall, I'm going to try to shoot, but he's getting really fast. Uh, I know he's still zero, and as you can see, he's still trying to force a goal. So I'm just like waiting for him to do anything he wants. I don't, I don't have a challenge, and now I have a free goal. And this is the end of the game. So I hope it really helps you, because like I think there's a lot of small things maybe you didn't like expected or saw like in any like show match or anything and I really hope it will help you. So like I said, uh, thank you everyone for all the feedback you gave me and I really hope uh, like this video will please you and if you really want to like vote or anything uh, just go into the description and I will make a poll on Twitter. So thank you everyone and bye!